Hello and welcome back to Koi Boy Games. I'm your host, Nathan from Weekend with the Weebs. Today we're going back to some Devil May Cry DMC. So stay low. Alright. Lundus doesn't know I exist, so I'll remain hidden until we're ready to strike. Cat knows the virility factor. What lies beneath you? She will be your guide. I, I always okay. love walking into people in awkward ways like that. <laughs> The camera's demonic, yep, yep. Oh, Alright, into limbo we go. I really like the limbo in this, it's like super trippy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This reminds me of like the first fight in Devil May Cry 3. I, I need to play that one, this one, that one. Honestly, like, that is my favorite, just because it has that old charm, but yet, you know, doesn't at the same time. It's a, like a newer, fast-paced kind of way to it. Alright, let's cut him off. So, as per usual, I got back from a long day of work. Not much happened today. No, no exciting stories, really. Um, but you know, what, whatever. I'm trying to think. I, I gotta have a good story somewhere. I always got good, sorta ish, crappy stories. True thing. a Walmart story. Those are always something. Sadly, I'm trying to think of, you know... Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Okay. So... I, um... I hate these chainsaw guys, by the way. I was, uh... It's always interesting, because every Walmart you go into is different. Like, if you ever want to just know, like, the local climate, like, you know, I, I don't think Walmart's, like, for weird people. Like, that's, that's a misconception. I mean, it's, it's not the classiest, but, anyhow, the, um, the Walmart out by me has a lot of, uh, or out by my college, has a lot of uh, Amish people, and it's really it's really interesting. I mean, they're all really nice, but you'll be you'll be in Walmart, and they're not like uh, Mennonite Amish. They're like traditional traditional Amish. So you'll be like going there, and they have the parking lot, okay? But they also have stables. Um, so people can ride their horses in it. It's always just really interesting because they'll like always have like traditional clothes and stuff. So like in the middle of this Walmart, like that's a pretty updated Walmart. Like you know, it's not one of the mini ones. It's one like the really big ones. Um, and then you'll see uh, you'll see a bunch of you know people of the Amish faith and they'll just, like be dressed, you know, very traditional, like almost like it makes you feel like you're back kind of in the like um, early like American days. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Um, another strange thing that happened at Walmart once, uh, same Walmart, um, we were just walking around and this one guy was, uh, I, I forgot the story. Wow, okay, I'm really bad tonight. I apologize. Like, here I am thinking I'm gonna come up with all this shit, and like, I just lose it. I just, I am so freaking tired. Um, what's, what's in the news? Other than Neil deGrasse Tyson just being a bag sometimes. Um, there's, there are posts if you don't know about that. Check that out because it's 
Someone does really disrespectful to the the people the of the uh, shooting. Um, right. who are the victims? Of it. He basically said there. like Best right after it happened, there. like, oh, he just gave statistics like. This isn't that big of a deal because, like, you know, people, you know, die every day of, like, car accidents, you know, or, it was just really disrespectful, um, not to break it, but I also, I also hate these monsters, and, uh, so, yeah, so he did that, and, uh, yeah, no, it was, like, medical deaths, you know, death by disease, death by, and it's, like, okay, you know, like, yes, those are big deals, but they're, like, stuff like old age, that's natural. Like, everyone's life is gonna come to an end eventually. Like, stuff like mass shootings, you don't really, you don't prepare for that, and it's, it's a growing problem in the country. Um, and it's, it's just like, why would you put that out there to validate all those people? It's like, you know, it's like, e even, you know, natural deaths, like, that stuff, you know, it's, it's a thing. And you can't say it's not, his whole thing was, he's like, oh, because, you know, this, this, like, this thing was, I guess, you know, it was in the news, because, you know, shootings are in the news, um, he was like, oh, but, you know, if someone dies of, like, cancer, they're not gonna get the same recognition, it's like, I, I kinda call, or, you know, it's just, I, I don't see that, because there's a lot of, um, you know, even, Maybe we're not naming names, but there's a lot of, you know, stories about, you know, cancer and stuff like that in the media that, um, gets, gets coverage too, so I, I don't know what his, uh, his point was there, um, like, I mean, all, all death is tragic, so, I, I don't know what he's really trying to prove, and whether it's, like, a disease or natural death or a shooting, you know, it can be, it can be tragic anyway, but there was no, no reason for him to, like, to validate like that, I guess. I don't know. That was just one thing that came to my mind. I <laughs> saw that and I was like, what the heck, man? I never really was a big fan of him, though. Another scientist that kind of went off the rails a bit was Bill Nye, and, uh, see, the, the problem with him that I think a lot of, uh, so, so being in science myself, you, you, you start to learn that there's science, like folk science, and there's publicized science, and there's a huge difference between the two, and that's why a lot of people don't, I guess, like Bill Nye, and why I'm kind of like, you know, he makes it sound like everything, and it's like this... Like, for the kids' show, it was great. I, I love the shit out of that. Like, it's one thing if you're inspiring kids, but then you look at his Netflix special. Come on! And, like, for example, the thing with the thing with global warming, he was like, oh, we're all gonna die right away, right here, right now. And it was really pushing a political issue. Um, whereas, there's not really a political issue in global warming. Global warming is global warming, and it is a problem. But if you ask, like, any scientist in that field, like, you know, what Bill Nye was trying to communicate, yes, it's, you know, it's something we definitely need to look out for, but is it going to be something that just totally destroys the world tomorrow? No. So, we can cut back now, but... He was making it sound like this global apocalyptic thing where we need to make, you know, political change right this very instant. And, to be honest with you, legislation is not how you're gonna stop, you know, that kind of, you know, polluting the environment and stuff. It's really, it lies, it lies in education. So, in a way, a lot of scientists don't like him because he really publicized that issue. Um, reasons I I really don't 
like him as much anymore is because he really... He really... He really dubs down, you know, science a lot. Which... I, I don't know. I think almost, you know, when, when you do stuff like that, like, science is a thing and we should get people excited about it. Which is why I like him in a way, but it's to the point where you can't just, you know, be like, Oh, you know, I watched one, like, Netflix special and I'm an expert on that. Which he kind of makes his stuff out to be nowadays, I feel. And you kind of, th that's really dangerous, because that's, that's where you get stuff like, you know, anti-vaxxers and flat earthers, like, because if you read, like, one article online, and this is what really bothers me, is, like, people will think that science, just because, even if it was an official study, but you can't, you know, not to say there's any official study on flat earth or anti-vax, because there isn't, despite what they would let you know, the whole anti-vax thing was revoked, we talked about that in the podcast, I'm not gonna go into that too much, but, like, it was shot down right away. Um, so yes, for a second, it was quote-unquote scientific, but, oh, this is an interesting speed run, I guess? Okay. Alright. So, anyhow, like I was saying, there's, there's folk science, and then there's, like, real science. Folk science is what you read online, it's sometimes true, it's sometimes not true. This is the stuff where it's like... You know, oh, if you eat an apple a day, it'll you'll never have to go to the doctor, you know? It's like, no, that's not true, but is eating fruit good for you, and is it a place to start? Sure. You know, there's often some truth, and there's some where there's no truth, like the anti-vax thing. But, like, even, like, things that look scientific, like, on, like, example is, in middle school, I used to use this website called Psychology Today, and... It's a psychology magazine, but it's written for people who just enjoy psychology and psychology topics. It's not really a official source of, like, psychologists do write on it, but it's written for the, the common man, so to speak. It's not going to be an empirical art article. Now, an empirical article is like... A study done you can see the scientifics you actually get a lot of numbers there's a lot of equations they're they're not really that entertaining to read but they're gonna give you all the information you need clinically and what else to go other like otherwise with it so it's that's the problem is like a lot of a lot of times like all these popular sci scientists like yes they may have you know good intentions but they're not pulling out like, oh, I got this this um, article from like the Pew Research Center that says this. They're not giving you that. They're just giving you the like, kind of. I hate to say it, but the WebMD kind of, you know, article of it. It's it's not it's not really where it comes from, you know. And, and that kind of bothers me a little, like, and that, that's, that's another thing. I wish people would stop dubbing it down like, you know, the common man can understand. Because, like, there's a lot of people I know that don't have, like, you know, a college education or anything. But they could get through it, like, way better than most of the people I know who've tried at college and have not done it. So it's... I, I don't know, I, or who are in it right now, and just, you know, it's, it's, it's just weird, like, and I know that's not everyone's aspiration, I'm not saying everyone has to go to college, but just the, where I'm getting with this is, people, you know, it's okay to let a kid, you know, be interested in reading a actual medical, you know, document just to see what one looks like, you know, it's not, people, people, especially at a young age, can understand a lot, a lot of stuff, and it's, it's sad that we, like, dub it down, because, honestly, I think we should be, you know, teaching a bit more difficult material so we can, you know, 
progress a bit, but that's just me. Um, obviously in some cases that's not for everyone, that's okay, but I honestly think, you know, that's, that's how it goes. Um, we, we shouldn't have to dub it down, I think everyone should have access in some degree to actual, like, scientific or, you know, like, quality, like, that's, that's why, you know, support your library or whatever, like, that stuff's there, you know, people, people forget, like, how, how much that's actually worth, cause, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, even, for, for half the games I do, do I actually, with college and all that, have enough money to, you know, go out and buy video games and that, like, every, like, $50 a week, no. It's not, it's not like, you know, the channel's providing for it or anything, it's just, like, I get a lot of ones from the library, and even this game, I didn't get from the library, but I, or, well, I got it from there originally, but then I bought my own copy, you know, it's just stuff like that, not, not saying this is a scientific document or anything, but it just, I think people need to be encouraged a little more to, like, you know, understand, to drive, whether that's in that's in, you know, science or art, you know, I think if we really push that in society, we'd have a healthier society, we wouldn't have a lot of violence and whatnot going around, because people would know, you know, we gotta function a certain way, um, and that certain way is different for everyone, um, but, you know, there's, there's certain things that, you know, we, we could avoid. I think, you know, just giving people that purpose through, through whatever it is, is a good thing, you know. And, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even need to be education. Like, I think a lot of it, you know, on religion, too. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people give religion crap because it can go, it can be taken to an extreme. But, I, I don't know, personally, I think, you know, that it, it can help, it can help, you know, I'm, I'm coming from a Catholic standpoint on this, but um, I think with all religions in, in the right way, if they're done right as they should be, um, it's, it's a good thing, and psychologically we've proven that, um, so even, even if, you know, you really don't you know, let's, let's just say, proverbially, there isn't, you know, a god or something. Still, the psychological benefits are so proven that it's like, even, yeah, if this is not real, you're not wasting your time. It does help you, in a sense, become a more controlled person, no matter... We found this with, like, practically all main religions, so... It's, you know... Plus, it lets you know a lot about, like, you know... Just in general, like society, because a lot, a lot of like society is based around religion and you know whatnot and art. There's a lot of things, so it's good to have an understanding of at least a couple to understand where people are coming from. And I think that's an important thing to really understand where people are coming from. You know, this has been like the longest tangent, but you know, I I love it. And here I am, just running through all this while dogging. I'm just like, what? What? Oh, this part. I remember this part. I didn't like this level, but this part was great. I just love, like, churches and that stuff. Like, I didn't even know I was in church right away, but... I don't know. I love, I love gothic architecture. Especially, like, gothic American revival. It is my favorite. Like, if, if my future house could look like a gothic revival church, like, you know, still have all the house amenities and stuff, I, I would take that in a heartbeat. Alright, well, this is about gonna end the video in a few minutes here. Um, I'll come out with another part to this. Uh, thank you for watching, and always, you know, subscribe, like, um, or, you know, you, you could not, I'm not forcing you, but it would help a lot, and, uh, yeah, um, and if you want your, your, 
your uh, voice in the intro, just send that voice recording to weekendswiththeweebs at gmail.com. So, yeah, have a great day.